Hello, this is Bishop Doherty with Easter greetings in the year 2021. He is risen, he is truly risen. This is the cry of our faith. We're happy to celebrate it. Um, it's been not just a long Lent, but a pretty long last year. So we are looking for some resurrection, for some new life and light, uh, and looking forward to it greatly this year. Uh, it's a precious time for all of our families. Uh, and for some of our families, we have stories to tell and things that we can remember from the last year and some things that maybe we'd prefer to forget. But I think if we look at the whole Easter scriptures, what we're looking at is a community of people who thought it was too important to forget anything on the way to Calvary and then on the way to the risen Lord and uh, the appearances at Emmaus and all of those things, Pentecost. So uh, my greetings to you. Um, I, I'm uh, looking at the Easter season always as a season, and I explain to people that it's too much to try and explain the resurrection and that experience in one setting. If you've ever been to a museum and looked at a fine piece of art in a glass case where the museum lets you walk all the way around it, you take 50 different views of that art object and come up with a, a better appreciation of it. Easter's like that. There's a different readings every day, different ways to celebrate Easter uh, liturgically and in our private devotions. And so the church spends a good amount of time looking at Easter, the risen Lord, from many different angles, looking not just at the Lord himself, but looking at the reaction of the apostles and the disciples. Uh, their reactions tell us a lot in these scripture stories. So it's why reading the scripture is a, a much fuller experience than um, simply listening to it uh, only once. So repeated exposure to some of these wonderful stories about Christ and, and hearing him in his own words and appearing at his own, on his own schedule uh, is uh, an interesting part of the season. Uh, it's a season also where we're looking forward to, for many of us, uh, some weddings, certainly ordinations. Uh, there's a fuller life in the church this time of year. Uh, Holy Week has been just a wonderful time for us with many different celebrations that only occur once a year. Uh, and these do build up our faith and strengthen our memories and help us to bring in our experiences of the last year, bring those to the table of the Lord uh, as well, uh, and, and to pray over them. So Easter isn't the same every year. I know you know that, but uh, it's important to remember that it should be a little di different and our experiences should be lifted up in our prayer. Um, so those are my few thoughts for us. Uh, in this 2021. And I hope that this year uh, your health is doing okay. Um, I pray for people often. Uh, I have still lots of prayer slips, petition slips in my chapel. Um, so I'm remembering people around the diocese on a daily basis. Uh, and we all have so many uh, different needs. But I would say if there's one prayer that people write down, it is a prayer for their family. Uh, families are, are very dear to us. They are the cradle of our faith very often. They are the domestic church, as you've heard in your catechism classes. Uh, so I'm very proud to be part of all of this. I'm very happy that the Lord has called me into the life that I have, where I celebrate the resurrection in a very particular way. But I know each of you in your own baptism uh, can celebrate Easter fully and as only you can. So give thanks to God for this wonderful season. Uh, give thanks for our Lord and Savior, now risen and always present among us. God bless you.